Hello, I just want to say thank you for choosing to watch my video today. Today I'm going to be talking about somebody who has changed my life entirely, which is Bashar. Uh, if you click this video, I'm guessing you know Bashar, but if you don't know Bashar, I suggest you go watch some of his videos. It might not be for everybody, it might not be for you, um, but I believe that Bashar changed my life entirely. And if you do know Bashar, then he must have changed yours in some way or some shape or form. Like, I just want to use this video to talk about little things that he might have taught me that I have definitely, like just one thing in particular, especially that he taught me that changed my whole psychology and the way I think about life and the way I define things. Basically, he talks about um, how your definitions is what give your life meaning. So what you define, the way you define something is the reason why you believe in something. So how you define something to be true is the reason why you believe and you feel a certain way about something. For instance, like if you're somebody that struggles with believing in yourself or um, self-confidence or, you know, like little things like you want to be able to be confident and talk to people and do the things that you want to do without being so scared. It comes down to what you are defining yourself to be and and what definitions you have that are keeping you from believing that you can achieve something, right? So in the case of confidence, you, you've you already set yourself. Like most times you hear people say, oh, I can't do that. I'm not confident. I am not confident. So that is the definition right there. I am not confident. And Bashar says something which is really beautiful is that <laughs> you are confident in that statement that you are not confident, right? Like... I am confident that I am not confident, so I wouldn't go talk to that person that I want to be my friend. I am confident that I am not confident, so I wouldn't try to make it in life or start that new business or um, pursue the things I would love to pursue because I am confident that I am not confident enough. And when you, when you see that life is actually paradoxical in that way, which is what he teaches, is like, Start to break things down that you are in more control than you realize. Because in my life, I've always seen a lot of people that put things down before they even try them. Like you already put things down and you you carry all these things that you say you are, which you've always believed in from your childhood. Oh I, I like you you like for instance, this is a great story. Like when I was in high school, I made it to the basketball team, but the first time I ever played basketball was in grade 11 and that was the first time I ever picked up a basketball and I shot it and the only reason why I did that was because I was hanging out with my friends and my friends wanted to play basketball so I wanted to be my, my friends I didn't want to go hang out with other people so I said oh yo, let me try and I picked up the ball and I shot it and said oh this spot is fun then I played it they started teaching me the rules like travel you can't travel you can't bounce twice they, they started teaching me the rules but the thing about people or most people is that before you even pick up the ball You've already defined yourself to be somebody who can't. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I can't play basketball. I'm too short. Oh, I don't know how to play basketball. Like most people always cut themselves short before they even try with their definitions of who they are. I can't play basketball. I am short. Oh, basketball is not for people like me. No one in my family plays sports. We have all these definitions that we put ourselves on ourselves before we even attempt to do something, right? So you see people like some people already believe deep down in their heart that they can't even be happy. Oh, I can't be happy. Happiness is, is nobody's happy. You hear people say some things like, and those definitions are the little things. Those definitions shape your belief system and your belief, your belief system shapes your life. Because when you define something to be true, I can't play basketball. I can't make it in life. I can't do math. I can't be smart. I can't be rich. No one in my family is rich. No one in my generation has been rich, so I can't be rich. You define that to be true. When in all reality, it is a belief, not a fact, which is another thing he talks about, beliefs and facts. You believe something doesn't mean it's a fact. You believe you can't play basketball doesn't mean it's a fact because you're cutting yourself short to the fact that you can actually learn. And that goes back to my story. So I pick up the ball and I shoot. And I say, oh, this sport is actually interesting. At first, they were, I did things and say, oh, that's wrong. You can't do that. That's travel. 
And, you know, people will laugh at you, make comments, and that drove me to be like, okay, I want to learn this thing so I can show people that I can learn something, I can be the best at basketball. And in grade 11, I made the team after, like, three months of practicing and constantly going back to play with my friends. I was able to get the, to the high school team and go on the first competition. I was the 10th pick. Like, they picked 10 players to go and play a competition against another school, and I was the 10th pick in my school to play against the other school. Isn't that crazy? The last pick, all because I made that decision that day that I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to go back. I'm going to try to play sports. I'm going to try again. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And I kept trying, and I learned. But the thing is, somebody would define, in that first stage where they are, you already define and cut yourself short that, oh, this is impossible. I can't possibly learn this. I can't possibly play basketball. I'm not smart enough. Your definitions are shaping your reality because you define those things. So when next you catch yourself in an opportunity to go after something you desire, right? You want to go after something you desire. And you catch yourself saying, oh, I can't do that. Or I can't do this. Or I'm not good enough. Catch yourself and be like, is this a belief or a fact? No, this is a belief. Because I know that if I practice, or if I take initiative to learn, then I can definitely be good enough. So I'm not good enough now, but I can be. And that's how you reshape your mind little by little into actually understanding the things that are holding you back. And you realize like, whoa, I can actually do anything if I'm able to change my beliefs. And you start to ask yourself, what do I actually want in life? And what do I believe? That is holding me back from getting that. So this is this video is just really a shout out to Bashar, and I'm just putting it out there because I've never really shared the fact that Bashar changed my life. And if you've never seen Bashar, I suggest you go watch some of his videos. He's way more articulate, <laughs> and he's way more articulate in explaining these things, and he's taking my mindset from a place of chaos and overall negativity to a place of balance and just calmness and peace just by understanding these key concepts of facts and beliefs and definitions and beliefs and things like that those things have really taken my mind from a place of panic to a place of rest so i just wanted to give bashar that shout out and anybody that could see this could possibly go check out his videos and maybe learn something that could change their lives as well peace